Hey guys, what's up? I thought I'd record my workout today. It's kind of hard because the angle I'm at and stuff, but uh, pretty much. Hold on. Over a little bit. Ah, bear with me, okay? This is the first time I'm recording myself to do the workout. And you're probably gonna see a little black thing going right towards my doggy. So let's get started. It's called Fitness Blender's Brutal Hit Ladder Workout. So I just want to tell you that um, I am not a professional in any kind of way. I'm still learning, and as you can see, I'm still a good girl. So. Hit ladder workout. Wish me luck. I got my towel and my water. You see me go up there because I'm getting water, okay? I have my iPad right here. Like, In this routine, we're going to start off with a quick three minute warm up. This is a hard workout. I love this it was hard. a minute descending ladder style hit workout. Now, you're not going to need any equipment for this routine. So let's go there. ahead and get started with our cardio warm up. Our first exercise is going to be leg swings. We're going to be doing this for 30 seconds on each leg. Let's go ahead and start leg with swings. that right leg first. Right nice leg. small range of motion to start out with. And then as you feel more comfortable with it, start increasing that range of motion. And as a relatively remember. quick motion, you want to try to really open that hip up as best you can. You know, remember, you are always want to keep it under control. Form, Don't swing out of control. Am I going to do something? You want to reach across that Perfect. left hand to your right foot to get that when torso to rotate. Just a little bit. Start warming up that core a little bit more. <laughs> Got five seconds left. And switch sides. You can do the same exact thing on that and left leg. Start with a smaller range of motion. Start working I, I would bigger, say this is similar to T25. Reach across with the right hand this time. Don't put me on this. I don't have T25 one. I have no. Oh, that was hard. Okay, we're going to do the next exercise here in just a second. We're going to be doing a knee up rotation. It's a relatively slow motion. Switch over in two seconds and switch it so those knees may be coming up really nice and high. Bring that opposite here, elbow right? down to that opposite knee, rotating those shoulders as much as you can. You want to actually feel like you're trying to get that elbow to the outside of your knee. You want to really focus on driving that knee up nice and high as well as rotating those shoulders as much as you possibly can. Get as much range of motion out of it as possible. Okay, this is the 10 seconds left until we switch to the next exercise, which is going to be a squat with a toe touch kick. Just a couple of seconds left, the next and switch it, nice deep there. squat, bring one leg so up, reach squat. out towards those toes, squat down again, squat. bring that opposite leg up, just keep all things back and forth between those legs every single time you squat, I'm trying, trying to get a nice deep squat every single time, you want to try to get those hips down, warm those you knees, know? warm those knees up, warm that hip socket up, they also want to get a nice stretch on that hamstring every single time, so make sure you're really reaching down towards that toe. Switch off to the next exercise here in just a second. We're doing line jumps next. Just a couple seconds left. And switch it. Just imagine while you're doing this exercise, you're trying to get those feet up and over either a really tall log or a really high band. You're trying to let those feet touch the ground for as short of a time as possible before jumping back over to the other side. Just keep moving as quickly as you can, driving those knees up as high as you can. And remember, this is our warm ups. So we're trying to get that heart up, we're trying to get that core temperature up. Keep pushing through it. I scream, jump my workout. Just a few more seconds. Just just regular jumping jacks. Is our last exercise. Oh, gee, I hate jumping jacks. I hate them. And switch it up. Those arms and legs going. Step For 60 those arms seconds. Down, those okay, this is great. Jumping jacks. Are you arms kidding me? I just want to see that. Nice <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's not easy, guys. It's not. You gotta push through. It's all mental. Nice, smooth, fluid motion. Fast, bring that heart rate up. Nice and warm. It's awesome. Strong on the outside. Imagine what's going on the inside. One second. Jumpy jumps on my weakness. Get a 10 second rest in between each one of those groups. So let's start with our first one, the flutter kicks. One minute straight through. 
Okay. And start them up. So you're going to start out with that flutter kick motion with those feet, kicking those feet front to back. Then you're going to pause with them in the center, squat down really nice and low, and then start that flutter kick motion again with that opposite foot forward. So you're going to do two oh, kicks, and then squat down. Supposed the to lose for a minute. Two kicks again, squat in the middle again. Just keep it going. Trying to get I think I'm going to have to do this camera, guys. Sorry. Again.